Picture this, working from anywhere in the world, whether it's a tropical beach in Bali or a nice cafe in Paris or a beautiful mountain cabin Airbnb in Iceland or Norway. It sounds like a dream, right? Well, it's not just a dream, it's possible. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can become a full-time digital nomad no matter who you are, no matter where you're from. I myself have been doing this for years. I have digital nomaded since 2017. In this video, I'm gonna break down the steps for you that you need to take, the skills that you need to develop, and how to actually make this lifestyle sustainable. And towards the end of this video, if you stick around, I'm going to give you a free course. Yes, I said free, there's gonna be no paid course, where I will show you exactly how you can start making money as soon as possible, even this month, so that you can get started becoming a digital nomad and you can leave behind your old nine to five lifestyle. So what exactly is a digital nomad? Well, it's somebody who earns a living by working online, which allows them to travel and live anywhere in the world. There's no office, there's no nine to five grind, just the freedom to work remotely whenever they want at any location. And it's all about that freedom. It's all about that flexibility and control over their life and you know that feeling of freedom that everybody so desperately wants around the world. But here is the thing. It's not just about lounging on the beach with a laptop and the whole four hour work week. It requires discipline, it requires upfront effort, and you need to have the right mindset so that you can actually reach this reality of becoming a full-time digital nomad. Trust me, you don't wanna be that person who it makes $500 a month living in Bali and they're an expat, you know, and they so desperately want to make a more significant income, but they don't have the right discipline. They don't have the right mindset. They don't have the right steps. So they're stuck living in a cheap place and they're barely, you know, making ends meet pretty much homeless. You don't want to be that person. You want to be a very respectable digital, digital nomad. You want to actually make a good amount of money. What I call a good amount of money is $10,000 a month because that's the freedom number. In my opinion, that is the number that allows you to have freedom where you can live anywhere in the world that you want. The first step to becoming a digital nomad is to find a remote job freelancing or to start an online business. So it's not just about entrepreneurship. There are plenty of freelancing opportunities out there, especially in the e-commerce space, in the agency space, in the marketing space that will allow anybody to become a digital nomad. There are so many options to consider nowadays, right? It's actually easier to become a digital nomad now than when I started just because there are more opportunities. Here are some of the common paths to consider. Number one, Freelancing, like I said, whether you're somebody who is a digital marketer or a copywriter or a graphic designer, a developer, a content creator, or an Amazon FBA specialist, which is a new uh, job as well in the space. Freelancing is a great way to work remotely. Websites like Upwork or Fiverr can help you land your first gig. So there's some uh, big freelancing websites where most people on there are actually digital nomads. The second way to become a digital nomad is to get a remote job. So still a nine to five, and there's plenty of sites out there that offer remote jobs. So you know, if you're somebody who's more entrepreneurially minded, this might not be for you. Maybe you want to start off as a freelancer, or maybe you want to dive right into step three, which is starting an online business, which is my personal favorite. Whether it's e-commerce, creating online courses, becoming a pro affiliate marketer, you can scale this up to potentially even millions of dollars a year and work from anywhere in the world. Personally, I started my journey through e-commerce. I built my first Amazon FBA business and I went from making no money to being dead broke to making more money than anybody in my entire family ever did within a few months. And obviously that's just my story. It doesn't mean that it happens to everybody. There are many people that succeed, that fail with Amazon FBA with any business, but it was a testimony to what resilience and what following the right steps can actually do for you. And then I used my success from my Amazon FBA business to start sharing what was working for me in becoming a digital nomad and becoming an entrepreneur. So I opened a YouTube channel and I started to make tutorials and videos and started to get a lot of views. So that was another monetization income stream there. And then I started to do affiliate marketing. I started to promote like tools that I was using in my Amazon FBA business. Then I launched my course and because people were asking me for it and that went on to do uh, many millions of dollars, right? So all that combined, I was making money from like at the most, I think it was five or six income streams and I still do. So that's my personal story. It doesn't mean you should copy it at all. It does not mean that. There's a concept of walking through your own door. You definitely need to walk through your own door to success. Everybody has a different door. If you try to walk through my door, you will probably land on your face, right? There's probably very few people out there watching this that nobody has the exact same door, but that have a very similar door to mine, you know, that are meant to be a person who is a YouTuber and who talks about entrepreneurship. Maybe that's your thing, no problem. But there's just so many opportunities out there. You can start with freelancing. You can start with uh, becoming an affiliate marketer. You can start with an agency, right? Even if you want to build a side hustle, these are all amazing in income streams that will start you in the right direction. So the first step is you need to choose an income stream. And that's why I put together my free 10K freedom course, which will show you how to make your first $10,000 a month as a goal in passive income. The link is down below. It's 
totally free. There is no hidden upsells or anything else like that. So that will actually come with a quiz in there, which will tell you the best income stream for you, where you have the highest chances of reaching the fastest success with it. So that link is down below. You can check it out. And there's also full in-depth tutorials on every single business model in there in the course. And I'm updating it every single year. So once you've picked an income stream, then you need to actually find the right blueprint, the right step-by-step uh, blueprint to actually get you to succeed. And the best way to do that is to enter or join a paid course. Uh, and I know that there's so many paid courses out there. So you have to find one that has great reviews. So for example, me, I've had my e-commerce course since 2017. I haven't actually made any other courses at the time of this video other than free courses. I've been a fan of free courses because I've been wanting to give a lot of value to you guys uh, out there who you know potentially might not have the money for a course. But I myself took paid courses when I first succeeded on Amazon. Without them, I would not have gone anywhere. It's just you know trying to find all the right information on YouTube and piecing things together between YouTubers is almost an impossible task. I'm not saying that nobody has succeeded on their own with free uh, material, but I can tell you in the vast majority of successful sellers cases, they took a paid course because you know th there's no point in taking six months to figure something out when you can just take a few weeks watching a step-by-step -step blueprint. And here is where investing in mentorship is so important, right? So obviously we all want a mentor, but I struggled with this at the beginning. I was like, how do I find a mentor? You know, at the beginning when I started, find a mentor, find a mentor, find a mentor. And I'm like, how do I find one with, you know, for free? Or I remember at the time it was saying, you know, pitch them free services. And it was like, no, people that ha are making a lot of money don't need free untalented services services, right? So um, the best way to get a mentor is again, through a paid course nowadays, um, by far, because you know, for a price of usually a good course is about a few hundred dollars, it, there should be no course that's like several thousands of dollars, unless it's for, you know, a more advanced audience, you know, more established entrepreneur, um, you can pretty much learn everything you need to know, just like in my Amazon pro course for Amazon that I recently launched, which is our flagship Amazon FBA course. But this video is not about that. It's about all types of passive income. Then after that, once you've actually invested in yourself, you invested in a course, uh, then the most important thing is to actually take action and do it. And this is where a lot of people get it wrong. If you actually spend the same amount of time that you would spend on a nine to five job that will get you nowhere, that will keep you a rat race slave uh, as you know your passive income, how can you not reach success, right? Even if you spent half of the time that you work a nine to five job, if you treated it like that, how can you not reach success? Unfortunately, most people, they treat this whole passive income thing as a hobby. They think that, oh, it's just a side hustle. I'm going to put in an hour here, an hour here. That's because they don't actually believe that they can do it. For me, what changed everything is seeing somebody like myself who looked similar to me, who had a similar life, reach massive success. In 2017, I saw, I found a YouTuber who they bought a Lamborghini because of their Amazon earnings. They were literally 21 years old. It was like a 21 year old gym bro. And I was like, okay, you know, I see myself in him. Now I wasn't interested in a Lamborghini myself. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm not really that much into supercars. Like I'm fine with a nice Audi and traveling and things, but uh, still it was motivating to me. And that's what showed me if he can do it, I can do it too. And maybe I hope that you can see that with myself here making this video for you. I hope you make that connection for yourself too. Now, a very important step here to become a full-time digital nomad is to build your income stream before you go. Uh, a common mistake is that people think that they can just pack up and leave and then figure out how to make money once they're on the road. That's because they're impatient. Don't do that. The smart way is to actually build a stable online income stream before you hit the road. Start by either freelancing or by building a business while you're still in one place. And once you're making a consistent income and know that it can sustain you while you travel, then it's time to start living that digital nomad life style. And of course, you'll also need to set up international banking and figure out how to get paid in different currencies, depending on what countries you're dealing with. And make sure you have a solid internet connection wherever you go. For myself, all my activities are Canada, US. So that hasn't really been a problem because those cards work around the world. Now, when you actually start making money as a digital nomad, the hardest part is actually the loneliness that comes with it. A lot of people don't talk about this, but when I started making money as a digital nomad, I felt so disconnected from everybody else, all my friends you know, from back home. Uh, people thought that I was crazy because of what I was doing at the time. I think that in 2017, making money online was still considered pretty scammy for some reason. Now, obviously not, um, you know, post pandemic, but loneliness is definitely the hardest part of doing this because uh, it's like who else out there is, is a digital nomad, right? So unless you go to a digital nomad place like Bali or something like that, or Thailand, then, and there's plenty of these hubs around the world, you know, it's going to be hard to find like-minded people. Again, that's why joining a good paid course is so important because you gain access to a community of people who are also on the same path as you and you can meet them. You know, my best connections in my life have been made through online masterminds and courses that I've joined myself, especially since, uh, you know, college and high school. 
you are the average of the five people that you hang out with. And, you know, even though you, you might be hanging out with your old friends and they might not be digital nomads or, you know, rich online entrepreneurs, that's fine. They're old friends. It's good for socialization and just for quality of life. But you need to find people that are on the same path as you and even a little bit ahead. Becoming a full-time digital nomad is one of the most freeing and rewarding experiences that you can have. However, it's not without its challenges. And it does require work to start, especially mindset work and figuring out the business and all that. But with the right mindset, with the right steps, the right blueprint, you can make it happen no matter where you are. The key is to start small, build your income stream, set a realistic goal, whether that's, you know, $1,000 a month or $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month, you know, set something small. And, you know, as soon as you hit that freedom number, you're going to be free, right? And you're never going to go back to a life of nine to five, because once you actually become a digital nomad, there's a switch that happens in your mind that goes, okay, I don't need a boss or the government to make money. I can make money myself. And that is very powerful. If you want to learn how to build a consistent income stream so that you can start becoming a full-time digital nomad, take my free 10K freedom course that I made specifically for you to show you how to do this. This is something that I wish I had when I started. The link is down below. There's no hidden upsells and it will point you in the right direction and it will tell you exactly which business model you should go with. Click the link in the description to get started today. I hope you're feeling more confident about this and I'm telling you right now, it is a possibility. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, okay? There's a lot of naysayers out there. Don't let anybody rule your life. If you got some value in this video or if you got a lot of value in this video or from my content, please consider subscribing and uh, leave me a like on the video and ring that notification bell. I do live mentorship sessions every single Saturday. Good luck, thank you.